Mm. Mangy mutts. Heavy turret machines. Shop form. Okay, we cannot. This is. This could. Okay, this looks like it has the makings of a brawl potentially. Oh, look. This time the marshal sent substitutes to shake us down. Well, you stand ins get one warning. Fuck off. No, no. Or get fucked up. It's, I don't, it's not what you think. It's not what you think. We want to talk to uh, McTavish. Yeah? Well, McTavish doesn't want to oh, talk to shit. you. Oh, shit. And you just used up your one warning. <laughs> Fuck him up, boys. Whoa. Okay. That's how it's going to be. Or poison. Oh, she's gonna go down, I think. Need some help. Please. Get in there, kitty cats. Yeah, there you go. Use those claws and super whiff. Ready when you are. High armor enemies. So these machine shop jerks have high armor and weapons with low penetration will have a hard time punching through. Try using sniper rifles, heavy machine guns, or blunt weapons. Energy, cold, fire, and explosive damage will also bypass armor altogether. Thanks. We also happen to have our precision strike available. Uh, let's take a med hypo here. And then, oh God. I don't know what the range is in this explosive barrel. Six armor. Take out the mutt. Potentially. That'll do. Let's get Costello in. This is the foreman. I didn't expect to just be battling this turret. Uh, hold on a second. I could target robot, temporarily converting it to your side. I don't think that counts as a robot, does it? Hmm. 31 to 36. Yeah, let's go. Oh, what do we got on him there? What does that have? What does that apply? Still learning some of these weapons here. Stunned. Okay. So that's good. Take him off guard. Quick attack with 40% hit chance with minus damage if we want. Okay. Hmm. 56 here. We do have smoke grenades. We wanted to provide some cover. Roasty toasty is probably good. This would hit our guy too, though. A bit unfortunate, but he's a tank. Oh, you know what? Hold on. So these are four. This one's six. This is four. So we could use this and... Okay, hold on. Let's do this instead. Whoops. Grenade here, remove this cover. Hopefully. Okay. Didn't work out exactly the way we planned. Mind you, I think maybe he isn't getting the benefit of the cover there. Costello's fully locked in. If I go precision, we take out the foreman. There we go. Then we get those other benefits when we take out their leader. Super nice. My worry here is uh, Lucia. She goes down. We can bring her up, but...
Trying to see if I can get an angle where I don't hit our guy. Looks like this is pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Got the ferret launcher. Could apply frozen back there. Hmm. We want to take this cover. Let's do that. And let's carry forward these actions. I move in here for one, then we still have two shots with this. That'll work. This thing's blocked. Let's do an overwatch here. I feel like this guy probably just stays in the back, though. And I'm gonna bring uh I'm gonna bring Abbott out of out of view of the uh, turret. Okay. Look at all this armor, man. The reduction's gonna be insane. Not today, bitches. Lucia's still alive. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Let's hypo up. And then I'm thinking we can probably finish this. Disable. Oh, I could just run right in there and disable it from here. That's kind of cool. Let's do it. Wait, what? Oh, nice, nice, nice. Hey, okay, cool. Wasn't sure how that worked. And get into actual cover now. Let's just go with uh, defense for you. See if we can get a sniper shot somewhere. 51 from there. 61 if I move up. Might want to get math in a little further. We do have this, like, uh, shrink grenade. Bring someone down a peg. Let's let's figure out how it works. We don't know. Let's put it on these two. Even if it hits our uh, Tomcat, that's fine. But I think friendly fire only happens for direct fire or, like, fire from a weapon. I could be wrong. Oh, wait. It does say targets, allies, and enemies, so... Little babies. But what does that actually do for us? I don't know. I don't know if it makes them easier to hit or anything, so. Bring Abbott up. Target's blocked. 86 in the back. Nice. Lovely shot. And then we got Quan. You can take... Oh, you can only take one. If I go War Pig here... Let's start with this. That actually... I can't believe those all hit. That was great. There you go. Guys, they're crushing. Let's uh, carry this forward. 
And can't do anything with you. Let's carry this forward. Uh, See what happens while they're in tiny. Talk shop. I'm surprised the cats can't just swallow them. What's he doing? Just attack him. Wait. What the hell was that, dude? Does the Abbot need to do this again? 46. 36. Let's go. Good work, everybody. Nice job, team. That was pretty sick. You guys did great. It wasn't exactly uh, the smooth chat ah. that I thought it would be. All right, anything interesting? Nothing ah. really there. Still got that poison, I think. Dog hair and dog shit. Yeah, let's take that. Why not? Shotguns, blades, ah. focusing crystals, car, hydraulics, injury kit, ah. Tommy gun. You'd be okay back there? 25 seconds. Ah. We do have an antidote, but uh, let's just lay the first aid on. It should nice counteract one. it. Thanks. Ah. Yeah, she should be fine. Let's do a heal over here as well. On Maluka. Uh, oh, yeah, good. Ah. Definitely needed it. Ooh, machine shop chest. The NOS tank is just for fun. <laughs> we got pants, we got helmets, gives mechanics and armor. Then we have a repair kit for uh, vehicles and robots. So getting that extra point in mechanics, I think, would be good. So let's give that helmet to Costello. We've got leg armor for three. Take that instead of the speed. And then armor of four. Does anybody have only three armor up top right now? Yeah, here. You can take this. Machine shop gear. There you go. And does anybody need headgear? Maybe he should actually take it. I think the crits probably matter more on him than for using some of these weirder weapons. What else we got going on in here? That was cool that in in the fight we can go and shut down the generator. Okay, a lot of ammo, bic lighters, secret back room. I like that. Lock picking impossible? What the frick? We just have an intercom system. Well, this isn't going to go well. Baked and grime hasn't been cleaned in years. Press the button. Oh, I guess. I assholes are short, my boy. <sighs> Unfortunately, McTavish, yes, it is. Well, I'm not looking for a bullet in the face, so you yeah. can fuck right the hell off. <laughs> Come on, McTavish, don't make us break down the door. Oh, wait, don't. Goons are cheap, my good daughters are replaceable. Yeah. All right, come in. But I'm no help us in here, I'm warning you. We have to remember that we can shoot doors. I don't know if it's guaranteed or whatever, but it's at least worth a shot if we can't get in a place that we need to. Wait, I can you. 
You then we numpty Sunlanders who came all the way from Arizona to suck the Patriots cock. Hey, I'm not here sucking anybody's you know what. But what happened to the rest of yous? Couldn't attack the cold? Couldn't you drive on ice? <laughs> Couldn't they <I> swim? <laughs> uh, you seem to know a lot about what happened to us. You helped set this up? What? No. I don't know. He had a demo. I just, uh, I just held a bit of it. Okay. <laughs> that accent's insane. Uh, okay. Let's go direct. You've got 10 seconds to tell us who let the Dorseys into the city. Ah, wait, hold on. We have information that you're working for the Dorseys. Ooh, information is that what I did? Or maybe it's just some shit you heard. Like my bob bag, you flatland hacks. I'm under farm Brago's protection, so you can't touch me, pal. I don't know about that, McTavish. We shoot you now, Brago's gonna jump out of nowhere and stop our bullets, or we're under the Patriarch's protection, Brago wouldn't dare touch us. If we shoot you now, Brago's gonna jump out of nowhere and stop our bullets? I'd like to see that. Huh? No, I, I mean, if you shoot me, then he's gonna. 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 Ah, what the hell is shite? This ain't fair. Everybody shuts on me, everybody. Okay, okay. Looks like Damn. you got me at a disadvantage, so let's make a deal, eh? You push flaps drop me enough to skip tune, and I'll tell you what I can. I'm not paying you to skip town, bro. Okay, maybe we will. <laughs> you don't need all that money. Walking's free. How about some money? You pay 300 No deal. Start talking. Or we did you like we did our boys. You either talk to us or we take you to the marshals. Your choice. Hmm. I don't know if I want to pay this guy money. Start to, he and when we threatened him with bullets before, he didn't have a very good reaction, understandably. So, start talking and we do like we did with your boys. And God damn it, hell! I got Sick. too many holes in me already. Fine, I'll spill monkey desert trash. Okay, yeah, I let the doses in the say, and I'm glad I did. Least I could do after the patriarch put me in the pillories. Asshole throws my bloody face off. I go out clear where my nose should be. <laughs> of course I wanted some revenge. Wouldn't you? Uh, what'd you do to deserve permanent disfigurement? I know, right? No, no, like, literally, what did you do to deserve losing your nose and ears? Oh, I, well, I was buying some wholesale... Medicine for God's evil. When all of a sudden, the marshal jumped out of nowhere and grabbed me. Say I'm buying me intent to sell or some shit. I try to tell him, I'm no selling it. I'm getting out of war with every purchase of an oil change at my shop, but the bar bags can't mm. see the difference. So they dragged me after the pillories. I mean, I busted for charity, I ask you. <laughs> if these subtitles weren't on, I would have no idea what he's saying. I can make out like a word or two. 99% sure those guys took me by and sold it themselves too. Fucking marshals, they should stay on the inside of the law. So wait, are you, are you, whoa, jeez. Are you saying that the marshals are corrupt? <laughs> we have heard that, so. Are you kidding me? This is a bear shot in the woods. Of course the marshals are corrupt. They work for the Patriarch, don't they? Uh-oh. And he's the most corrupt tally washer them are. I wonder if Quan's going to speak up here. You think he's the great feather who takes care of the people of Colorado? Ah, that's shite. He takes care of the people who take care of him. That's it. Now, the rest of us peons are just here to keep the machines running. That's why I ended up working for Brago. Now, he's a crook too, but he doesn't okay. pretend he's no. No like some people I could name. Now, I wonder had we paid him off, maybe he'll throw... Like, we might get the information still, but if we paid him off, perhaps he would uh, give us information we need about Brago. The hell kind of accent is that? Ah, that's, that's Scottish. I'm Scottish. See, Scottish plate, Scottish uh, logo, everything Scottish. The McTavishes were the kings of Scotland once again. Sounds like you're eating a sock. 
Look at right here. Moldy one. I learned it from a video of Braveheart, which was right there with the maid Scotland. It's going to be right. Because I found the tape and I burned your car, so it could be a wee bit warped. You think? So, to get revenge on the Patriarch, you let the Dorseys pillage the town and murder dozens of innocent civilians, or did Brago have anything to do with the Dorsey attack? Both, preferably. I, I didn't know that's what they were going to do. I just thought they were going to kill Buchanan. Did Brago have anything to do with the Dorsey attack? What? No, oh, no way. Why would they think that? Mr. Bragg would not have done us nothing. For sure he did. For sure he did. What are you going to do with me? I don't know, McTavish. Hmm. Arrest him. It's a tough call. We leave him go free, get a little reward out of it. She didn't say like she wanted this guy arrested or anything. Um, but it was his, he had a big hand in letting those guys in. I don't know what he could possibly have that we would want, but let's go greedy. Let's just go the bloody dogs. Oh, yeah, you're so much better. Yeah, wow, good job, buddy. Wow. Look at how close we are in experience, too. My God. Well, hell, Rangers. Now we know just where that some bitch leader of the Dorseys is hiding. Let's head there as soon as we're ready. Hmm. Not sure how this is going to play out. Probably not great. Note to McTavish. Mission critical item. Crumpled and grease stain. It looks like someone balled up this note in a fit of rage. Private do not play for Clan McTavish eyes only. Away in Bali, heed your walnut. Bard's Tale floppy disk. Floppy disk, the Bard's Tale computer game for Apple. That's cool. And we have a mechanic skill book. I like the, all of this. <coughs> the name's McTavish, and I'm for Glasgow way. Shit, that's not it. Lick me, Bobag. <laughs> Sod af. You this is him practicing his cunt. accent. Come on, boy, all your heads, Jamie. Get. Hey, you've a face like a scalp to hurt you, Dobar. Ah. That'll do. That's funny. Okay, interesting. Now, okay, this is not... This is our second skill book, I believe. Uh, so we have a brawling one, which we're not going to use, obviously. Because uh, we don't have that. But the mechanic skill book, it's tempting. It's tempting to just put that in here. Especially right now, because we need it. Uh... To get into that other door, I think, right? Oh, but that might have been mechanics level five. The thing is, these skill books, as tempting it is, as it is, I think until we get to like here, where it starts costing like four or five points, we should just save it. And we'll be very happy when we save it and we have those um, at a later date. Look how close these guys are to leveling. It's kind of insane. It's kind of crazy. Let's read this note. Okay, so M, I know you have your reasons, but don't do this. Helping the Dorseys to get back at the Patriarch will hurt your business and mine. And you do not want to hurt my business. Last warning, B. So B could be Brigo, could be Buchanan, <laughs> but it's probably Brigo. McTavish admitted to helping the Dorseys. We can use this information to convince Fair and Brigo to release Delgado. Guarding the door to the back room. It doesn't seem like he'll let us in without a fight. He'd be my neighbor. Rosie's been hearing strange noises. Uh, let's just see if there's anything else here. Hunt down Nellis. Nelius Dorsey. Wants to help bring those responsible for families murdered to justice. Starting with Nelius Dorsey. And then recruiting people. Okay. I think we go back to back to Brigo. We try and try and get... Sorry about that. 
what I, what I was saying was we're trying we're gonna try and go back to Brago, see if we can get some levels out of this, and uh, go from there. Where are we at for ammo? I'm just taking a look at some of these down here. 118, 471, 471. We're sharing that ammo. 118, we're kind of sharing, and 113 here on pistols. Okay. Well, I figured we would chat with those guys. Didn't exactly go as planned. Uh, I feel like we might still be able to get information from Brago that implicates him. We have the note, obviously. Doesn't say his name, but signed by B. It's pretty obvious. We'll see. And if I can get into uh, lockpicking and stuff. And that might make getting into that room easier. But if, if we can't, we'll try shooting the door down. And going from there. These marshals, everybody says they're corrupt. It's like any police force, let's be honest. Did I say that? Whoops. Um, here we go. We've been back. Oh, yeah, this area. Yes, we have. Rangers, looking for the latest news? Am I? What do you think of this well, town? It's the only safe place we've got. Vegas is gone. The robots saw to that. The refugees say the East is dying too. Might still be a couple nations out there. Motor City Combined and Buckeye Republic. But they were at war last we heard. <sighs> Colorado's the only safe place left. And we have the Patriarch to thank. That makes this town the best place in the world near as I can tell. Even if it isn't perfect. Cool. You bet. Oh, Brandy. We have their diaries, remember. I don't know if that'll ever come up, but... Maybe I'll join the marshals. We do like to rough people up. Let's go to the uh, store. Hey, uh, that we... Your wife about? Fixed. Where is that? Hold on a second. Uh, back here. Let's go in here. We're gonna sell our gear, uh, sell our junk, I should say. How much money do we have? 798. Okay, I feel like that's pretty good. Welcome back to Cassidy's Fine Clothiers. What can I do for you? You and your wife get along well? Random question. Hardly a crossword between us. There's nothing but rolls her eyes. Can you tell me about your shop? Been making clothes and adornments for the hundred families for 30 years. Most of them won't buy from anybody else. Of course, we sell to regular folks too. Plenty of less expensive items in stock. Repurposed or restored garments, mostly. Okay. Let's uh, sell the junk. It's a lot of junk. We're so rich. I feel like this is money that we could spend in seconds. This is also a level five lockpick. Which uh, we're so close to, I can taste it. Okay, to the nightclub. Do it. Charlie Knowles is the Flare champion of Colorado Springs. What the hell is Flare? I'm just jamming. I'm following the call of the disco ball, as it were. The disco bot putting out the best tunes. What's the rush, huh? Oh. Why don't you tell your old pal Charlie what you found out from McTavish? <sighs> He's nervous. You were right. He let the Dorseys into the city and he said he acted alone, which is true. 
but we also have that note. And if we say none of your business, I worry he's going to go hostile here. Hmm. Well done, Red Hats. Thing is, maybe I made it sound like I could get you into the back, but I can't without Mr. Brigo's say so. Go talk to him. Tell him what you found out, and I'm sure he'll be open to a deal. Uh, huh. Don't mention me, though. Thanks. So, uh, what did you do to that poor bastard, McTavish? Why don't you go look and find out? Now, why would you be like that to your good pal, Charlie? All right, all right. I'll head to the machine shop and clear up any oh. mess you left. Nothing but a favor between friends. You should go on upstairs and talk to Mr. Brigo. If he's going to the See machine later, shop Red by Hats. himself, maybe that's an opportunity for us to off this guy and get us access. But mind you, now that he's oh, gone, you don't know what you're talking about. They're fighting. You stowed away on an Arapaho convoy? Like oh I kind of feel like now Tell that he's gone, maybe everything. we could go back here. Uh, uh, it was, uh, uh, let's go. Let's go deal with this first. Let's not get too uh, fancy. Oh, cool. Oh, uh, Rangers. I get the feeling this isn't a social call. I understand you had a little talk with McTavish. And I want you to know I'm as appalled as you are that he let the Dorseys into the city. Yeah. He served me well. But, well, he's always been an idiot. Now, what do you want to talk to me about? Couple of things. Listen. Yeah, how do you know what McTavish told us? In my profession, you can't be too trusting with new friends. I uh, mm. had you follow. It won't happen again. We found a note from you to McTavish ordering him to not... Uh, ordering him not to help the Dorseys. That means you knew his plan. Wonder what Daisy would do with that info. Is that a threat? Are you suggesting some kind of deal? I'm not admitting I know anything about Delgado, but what did you have in mind? He's playing it pretty cool. Listen. Ah. We're going to throw this McTavish guy under the bus. He is a dick too, but this dude. Hmm. Hand over Delgado, we'll tell Daisy it was a misunderstanding, and we'll tell her McTavish acted on his own. Mm. But we don't have to. I like that. We can tell Keeps her the Daisy truth. Daisy out of my business and takes care of a problem I didn't want in the first place. All right. You got a deal. You can take Delgado. I'll tell my crew to let you in the back. And I tell you what, because you've been so reasonable, I'll do you one more favor. A little bird told me you need to staff the armory at your oh. HQ. Well... I just so happen to know a few guys who know about guns. Consider it staffed. That's... What do you say? Uh, surprising. God, bartering. Okay, so bartering seems really important as well, especially conversationally, which I wouldn't think would be normally the case, but that's cool. Um. Yeah, let's ask. Why did you grab Delgado in the first place? It would have made more sense to stonewall and just send him on his way, no? You're right. But I'm not the one who grabbed him. Charlie did. Yeah, did exactly. He? Okay. After that, what was I going to do? Tell him no hard feelings and let him walk? Daisy would have been busting down my doors within the hour. That's one so of the reasons. I just kept him on ice, hoping a solution would come along, and voila, it did. At least I hope it did. Depends on if you're going to accept my offer or not. So? It depends, um... Or it's one of the reasons that that Charles is so paranoid about us being here. It, that is a bit of a question mark, like having the armory staff with career criminals. But this gets us Delgado, it gets us some crew, 
And maybe I'm hoping we still have an opportunity to tell her like, look, this guy's involved. Here's the note. Here's the blah, blah. We can still screw him over, but get Delgado out. Fantastic. Delgado's in the back. My crew will let you through. Go get him. And you'll have a fully staffed armory by the time you get back to your headquarters. Pleasure doing business with you, Rangers. Feels like old times. Yeah, I bet. I really love those like first person per, first person uh conversations. I wish they happened more frequently. Corrupt Marshal. Oh, what whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening here? I feel like we're walking into something bad here. What a surprise to see you here, Rangers. Uh oh. It's especially surprising because I figure you'd be coming out of Brigo's suite with him in chains or a bullet hole in his head. But no, what's a damsel like me to think? We've looked the other way long enough. Uh-oh. First, Brigo helps out the Dorseys. Then he locks up a marshal. Your law keepers, right? Like us? It's time to uphold the law. <laughs> If you're not willing to do God that damn much. Marshal Lupinski, I stand by these people. So if you plan to shoot them, you'll have to shoot me too. I think you know how that'll go over with the families. Badass. Doesn't need to come to that, Miss Wesson. If your friends here make the right choice. So, how about it, Rangers? You wouldn't want to get the little lady hurt, would you? Okay. Um, hmm. I don't know. We found the traitor. We can really dig in and, and back McTavish and then have Brigo, who kind of uh, trusts us, but he is seedy and probably not trustworthy himself. You look the other way for ages and expected nothing to happen, or if the marshals want Brigo gone, we're with you. Hmm. The thing is, I actually don't mind, like, the head sheriff girl. But the marshals all seem pretty sketch. But everybody's sketch here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dig in. We're going to throw this McTavish guy under the bus hard. <laughs> this, I don't know, man. Maybe. Or maybe Brigo sweet-talked his way out of trouble. We've all seen that happen before. Last chance, Rangers. It doesn't have to go down like this, fellas. Shut the fuck up, Quan. Uh oh. It's going down like this, whether or not you like it. One way or another, there's gonna be blood. So whose yeah, side see? are you on? Uh... You really want to piss off the sheriff for the sake of that rat, Brigo? I don't know what to do. Fine, 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 fine. Good. Now, why don't you mosey back upstairs and arrest Brigo for real then? Go on, get. You go on, get. Don't talk to me like that. We gave you the chance to do the right oh, we can't even go back and get our bud. Oh, are you serious, dude? What? I guess that's it. We've drawn the line. Well, they've drawn the line. And we have all these guys here helping, so this should actually go pretty well. <laughs> Everybody is going to kill... Like, these guys, these marshals are screwed, but now the sheriff, we're going to have serious problems. Okay, and, that, and then we're going to be working with this CD underbelly crime lord these marshals are dicks anyways go disco bot okay abbott corrupt marshal where's the leader marshal lupinski 95 I'm going to mark this. I should have maybe did that first.
Invalid. Oh, he's already marked. I think maybe the disco bot marked him. Let's just get into cover. Costello, I need you to come in here making waves. Charge up this ability with each successful attack. Leap and slam the ground, sending out a stunning shockwave around you. They're a little far. Let's get right in here. Go evasion. Maluka we kind of need in front somewhere. Let's go with the war pig. These guys are pretty tanky. Maybe here. Not the cats. Not Major Tom. I think a freeze here could be good. Ninety-five. If we take this, um, or we could switch our weapon and get two shots off. What is this going on here? We've been braided into submission. Oh, demoralized. Oh, wow. Hit chance and crit chance are down. That's the thing that he did, right? That leader. Our chances are still pretty good, though. Well, cool. I'll take that. If we come over here and we take this guy out, we have cover, but then this guy can see us. These guys can see us, but they have other problems. We have a much better chance at hitting from here, though. Hmm. Too bad that this doesn't get us a flank when we can't step out there. I assume if we stay here, this guy probably comes around here for the flank on Lucia, but let's take that chance. Officer down. Applies damage weapon. Maybe we should have went with something like that. Less hit chance though. Get an extra three AP and your strike meter is instantly filled. Let's go evasion. And then lastly, Quan. Applies damage armor. Punctures through multiple enemies, hitting anyone in this path. We got too much over there that we're probably going to hit as well, so... Not so bad. We'll carry this forward. Oh, I didn't even notice this dude behind us. <laughs> oh, that's going to hurt. any friendlies yet so that's kind of nice jeez blackjack blackjack dealer kicks ass there you go nice 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 pit boss owning
Okay. Ninety five back here. Oh, we got this charged. So, okay. So, see how we took that shot, but then we still have a bunch of actions? I don't know if that's because we charged up a precision strike or maybe we got some lucky thing. There we go. Our odds of winning increase if we act as one. Damn right. Okay, Costello. Now, how does this work? Charge with this ability uh, leap up and slam the ground, sending out a stunning shock wave around you. Whoa. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Let's go damaged armor here. Oh, it's gonna hit math. I gotta get math out of there first. Oh, but I can't. He's dazed, so it looks like... Hold on, let's get off of that. Stunned, okay. So that one's pretty self-explanatory. Removes a bunch of action points. So we can't do anything. Fair enough. Let's pull back here. Got him. We should actually be shooting with this one. Oh, we are. Okay, good. Target a specific area, so just like the sniper, I guess. What does this guy have? Snail and some type of disorientation. This guy, I'm not sure. We can kill one of them. 84, 95. There's some levels, baby. Don't hurt me, yeah, he's not doing anything. The friendlies are going to finish it up, but that's okay. All right. I guess we're going with Brygo now. That was a learning experience. Learning experience, all right. This is going to change things pretty significantly. I can't pick up anything from these guys. Are you for real? There's something. Computers available. Playing cards, dice. Only you got the level. So we're going to go lock picking. Then I'll save that that extra one. I get this extra point in intelligence. That then does give us um, an extra skill point. Because every two we get one. I might just save this as well, but let's let's hold on to these two. We can either go into first aid, or we can go into sniper rifles, or we can go into lock picking. We have a perk as well. What do we want to do? Quick slots, extra armor, extra constitution, extra evasion, crit resist, or gain one speed for two turns so we can get over there and help them. Let's take that. Okay, now the question is, are we just going to carry on with life? I'm thinking, yes. 
Every kind of booze in the known world. So like 12 kinds, basically. But they've got plenty of each. Okay, guys, I'll tell you what. We're going to take a break right here. We come back. We should be in the clear um, to get to get Delgado. But the problem is now when we go back to the sheriff, she's going to be like, you killed all my guys. And I'm going to be like, we, they were dicks. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes down. It's sure to be a disaster. Wish me luck, guys. We'll see you soon, okay? Bye now. Take care of each other and your moms. Dads too. Thank you.